Hello, my name is Paul. I'm gonna show you in this short video how to integrate fitness with your iOS or Mac applications as an alternative way to test your software. Uh, if you don't know already, fitness is a uh, acceptance testing framework. Um, it allows you to define acceptance criteria um, in the form of tables and execute those tests against um, all kinds of different uh, environments and programming languages. It also works really well with Xcode and iOS projects and I just wanna show you how to do that today. I'm gonna start with a brand new Xcode project. So let's just create one of those. Um, let's create a new Xcode project. Now let's imagine there are application here. We started to build it um, and we wanna start using fitness to um, run acceptance tests against that. The way fitness works is you, you create a special version of your application uh, which fitness talks to and that requires a separate target to do that. Now. To make this a lot simpler, um, I've created some Xcode templates which allows you to create that uh, specific kind of target that you need. So the first step is to download that zip file. All the instructions for this are there, so you can refer to this later, but um, hopefully I know what I'm doing. I can just try this from here. There is a make file that we have here. So if I go into that folder uh, and CD into, uh, there we go. And let's run make. What that did was just copy the templates for the acceptance test target into the appropriate places that you need to. After you've done that, adding a new target is really easy. There'll be a category here under iOS called test. We also have one for OS 10, so you can build either of these types. Um, and it's called the iOS acceptance test target. So let's create one of those. Uh, and I always call these acceptance tests. I mean, they can be called anything, but acceptance tests seems to be good enough for everyone. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and run this target. Let's see if it works or not. Um, let's just choose a device. And let's try and run, and, or let's try and build at least the acceptance test target. Now, this is gonna happen the first time you run this. Don't worry about it. Um, this is gonna tell you what the problem is. For this to work, it needs to have uh, the support of a pod. Uh, that pod is called OC Slim Project. Um, and without it, this thing can't do its thing. So it's just giving you a little nice error there to let you know what that is needs to do. So let's follow the instructions and see what we need to do. So let's go find this and let's just a uh, pod file in there. Okay, so the target is gonna be uh, acceptance tests. And, uh, and that and the pod is going to be OC slim project let's just have a look at that yep it's capitalized camel okay OC slim project and that is all you need to do so now we do a pod install let's quit this and open up the workspace instead Now, if we've done this right, when we build acceptance test this time, it will build. All right, done, easy. Now we've built it. Well, we can actually try running it. Let's see what happens if we try to run it. Here it comes. We get this little console message. Now this is actually, it looks like there's something gone wrong, but it's actually um, uh, what we want to see. It means, Basically that the acceptance test target is sitting there waiting for something, but nothing's talking to it. And so it's just not doing anything. Now the OC Slim project creates for you a convenient little script, which will do this uh, for you. So let's have a look in this folder here. Uh, and you can see uh, in purple that we have launch fitness, which just links to a uh, nice little script. Launch fitness, what do we get? Now it tells me that um, well, we're missing fitness. So um, you could just go to the loadfitness.org, download that. Let's take the standalone. That was fast. And we need to just put that into the same location as the project so that it can see it. Okay, there it goes. Let's try again. Hey. This is fitness, so we'll just add a uh, page. Uh, let's call it doodads acceptance tests. We click on that link. 
All right, we now have a page. Um, doesn't do anything yet. What we want is a page that we can test. So let's go to Tools, Properties, and change this into a test page. You'll see that now, by doing that, we've now added a, got a test button in the top of Fitness, and this is where your specification becomes not just documentation, but also executable against your software. Let's hit the test button. Now, did you see what happened? The simulator started to do stuff. Hey, test executed okay. We actually now have fitness talking to our acceptance test target. Now for the purposes of uh, demonstrating this, uh, we look in the OC Slim project folder we downloaded. We have in the example folder, just do that, and inside fitness root, which is basically the index to all the pages that you see within fitness. Uh, we have a little sample here to help us get um, going. So. Um, I'm going to just move this over to this fitness route here and uh, drop that in there. And what you'll see is already, well, you don't see it, but if uh, we see slim project example, this is the uh, example that we just copied and pasted in. Let's run this test. Okay, cool. So let's look at this page. The tests executed, but some of them failed. Um, Fixture example is green. Now, how did that go green? We'll look at that in a minute. And uh, we have this input and output, but it didn't receive anything. So how is this working? Well, what's happening is that when we installed our acceptance test target, it came with um, this little sample to get us started. So you see here that we have fixture example dot swift, which is mapping to fixture example in this table here. And you can see it doesn't do very much, but it does have an input there, which matches to this, and an output here, which is returning for right now an empty string. So it says, can we make this decision test go green? The way we do that is to return the right value from here. So if I return bar from here, which is what we're expecting in our output, I need to build that again and hit test. Test succeeded. Now, to get a better idea about how some of this works, uh, you should go check out my blog post on this that goes into all the detail of how this stuff is wired together and walks you through a more um, uh, uh, an example from start to finish. But this is really just about showing you how to get your project connected and wired up to your um, Xcode project and really just to see how simple that is. Um, Thanks for listening. Go check it out. I uh, hope you have a great time using fitness.